Hey everybody, Jamie here, Nomadic Rev. Welcome back to a special video. So I saw someone else do this on YouTube and I thought it would be fun today. And that is, I'm gonna do a very quick interview with my wife, but she doesn't wanna be on camera. So I'm gonna ask her some questions. You're gonna get to hear her responses. And then hopefully this there's nothing in here that I will have to edit out. And I can just post it as it is. All right, question number one. What do you think of my hobby of van living? I think it's great to have something to keep you occupied. No, but you have to be honest. Is that really what you think? Yeah. Like when I when I first had the van and made it and everything, what was your gut? Like, what did you really think? Initially? Isn't it nice you have a hobby? <laughs> um, are you ever worried that I want to live in a van down by the river? Yes. Would you ever want to live in a van down by the river? As long as your van was a, like that one I show, showed you that had the fireplace and the marble countertop. So she really likes, um, what are they called? They're called um, park model yeah, park RVs models, yeah. where you park them. So that, she's looked at a couple of those. And you went through a tiny home too. Uh -huh. That one time when mm -hmm. we were in. On the way to Alexandria. Yeah, up north. We walked through a tiny home and she said she would live in that. But not just this. This? No. <laughs> <laughs> live no so she's been in it before when i had the larger bed in it and you laid on it what did you think it was a comfortable it was yeah, comfortable but she it has would be doable you haven't camped in it yet no i haven't camped in it yet but this year i'm trying to get her so what do you think you would maybe if you had to sleep on that bed yeah um what do you think about the fact that i post videos about it on the whole youtube so the whole world can see isn't it nice you have a hobby? <laughs> oh my goodness. The nice thing is it gives you people to talk to about it that aren't me. Right. Um, the other question that I was going to ask you is, does it make you feel weird that I tell other people about it that we know? Cause like now I've now I've showed it off to like our friends and like people that I know. I'm like, it doesn't make, check out my van. Like it doesn't make me I have, feel weird. I have guy friends that it's, have seen it. It doesn't make me feel weird. They're pretty impressed actually. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not the one who would that would bother. Yeah. When I'm gone, and like I sleep, like if I go camping, and so I'm not at home. Mm -hmm. Do you feel bad that you're not camping with me? Um, I don't feel bad that I'm not camping with you. I sometimes feel bad that you think maybe I don't get as much enjoyment out of your hobby as you do but oh okay so you think so you think that you wish you were more enthusiastic but you don't wish that you were with me in the van camping i don't i don't wish i was more enthusiastic i hope you don't wish i was more enthusiastic but i don't usually feel bad that i'm not camping um what did you think when my porta potty showed up at the house that was a little more than I imagined you would put in here. Sleeping right next to your pee just doesn't sound fun. <laughs> what did you think when I told you I used it the first time? That was disgusting. <laughs> so as you can see, she has she has a way to go to get excited about <laughs> van life. Um, or you just need a bigger van. Or we need a bigger van, yeah. Like a bus. Yeah, and we have looked at RVs, and we've looked at nice RVs. And honestly, I think if we ever because we used to own a camper. We had a hybrid camper that was really nice. I think one day when we have a camper, I'll still have a van. I bet that's true, yeah. Because I really like being stealth. Yeah. Like right now we're parked at a hotel and there's a beautiful sunset happening across the pond. And we just ordered some mm -hmm. dinner for, what do you call it, touchless pickup? Cause we're still in Minnesota, so there's, um, you can go out to eat in Minnesota, but we're gonna get, do the touchless pickup. And then we're gonna eat in the van at a park, yep. which we've done before. So, ah, that that's another good nice. question. So during the, back when the lockdowns were happening where um, you couldn't go out to eat, we ate multiple times in the back of the van. Mm -hmm. And one of the last times we watched a movie together. Uh -huh. Did you feel weird when being in the stealth mode with me at a parking lot where we were eating dinner in the back? No. And watching a movie? No, because half of the whole world was doing the same thing. 
sitting in the back of a van with blacked out windows well, eating dinner. Well, I, don't know if, I don't know if they had the luxury that we had, but like that's, it was either take out and eat it in your car. Or eat, I mean, you know, nobody yeah. sit inside. Yeah. But you didn't feel weird sitting in the parking lot, sitting in the back, watching a movie, eating. No. Like we're going to do tonight. Yeah. No, I didn't feel weird. Yeah. Did you think, think it was cozy? Yeah. You did tell me uh -huh. that. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah, it was nice. All right. So we're just waiting for our um, dinner to be done. I thought this would be a fun video for you guys. Um, maybe if you have other questions that you want to ask my wife, you can leave a comment below and maybe we'll do another video in the future. Some of you that watch this channel still haven't subscribed, so make sure that you do and click the notification bell so you know when I upload and uh, hit the like button. Helps me reach more people. See you in the next one.